Grammar. Math. Science. Modern culture? Curious? Good, it's time for all you need to know about colons and a whole lot more. The word colon is derived from the Greek word colon, meaning limb, appendage, or part of something, and is where we get our word for the large intestine. In grammar, one should use the colon after the reading of a business letter. In books and movies, colons are used to separate the title from the subtitle. The colon is also used between the chapter and the verse for Bible references. And, one common usage is placing the colon right after the list of an independent clause. Colons are sometimes used before a quotation after an independent clause. However, you absolutely must have an independent clause before a list or a quotation, like here and here. So, to review, colons are used after the reading of a business letter, subtitles, Bible verses, and after independent clauses. Got it? Good, because it's about to get a whole lot more complicated. Colons can be used between two independent clauses. The first word of the second clause will not be capitalized unless there are more than one sentences following the colon. There's also no coordinating conjunctions between the clauses. The first situation where this is applicable is when you want to explain or emphasize the second clause. Grammar geek side note here, technically the second clause can also be in a positive clause. For example, Theron could not speak, he was concentrating extremely hard. The second clause is in a positive meaning it modifies Theron instead of telling why he could not speak. It does not change how the words were ordered or how they would be said, but it does change it eternally and grammatically, and this is why people go insane from grammar every day. The second situation where you can place a colon in between two independent clauses is when you try to show logical consequence. Colons are also used in scripts to indicate dialogue right after the character's name. Colons are very much used in number, in the traditional way of telling time and the technical way. Colons are also used to denote ratios, and double colons are used for denoting the reduction of a ratio. They're even in math. Okay, okay, just kidding, we won't get into that mess. However, by far the most popular use of colons, thanks to this guy, are emoticons, those small little faces used in social media to try and express emotion through a cold medium of communication. No risk? Yeah, right. Okay, to really review, colons appear in business letters, subtitles, Bible verses, after independent clauses, before lists, before quotes, and before another independent clause, dialogue, time, math, and texting. Uh, not while driving. And that is all you need to know about colons and a whole lot more. The end, and thanks for watching.